Lifting, carrying, moving, and the handling of objects is something we do every day. We usually don't think about it. We just seem to do it. But take a look around. We seem to have adapted our lifting and moving techniques based on what is most comfortable, not what is most safe. This is a problem, and the problem is severe. One in every five reported workplace injuries is related to the back. That is an astounding 20% of all workplace injuries. And here's the thing to think about. These statistics are workplace related. Injuries occurring at home don't show up in these statistics. On top of all that, you may already be experiencing the discomfort of back pain and you're just dealing with it in your job. All that should tell you how important back safety is to our lives. In this short training session, we're going to provide you with information on how to minimize the stress placed on your lower back and how to reduce the risk of a muscle strain which could lead to or actually result in a back injury. But before we get started, we should mention that there are many factors that can cause a back injury. Bad lifting habits and poor techniques are just a few of them. Overlifting, or lifting more than you're physically capable of, is another. Force, like trying to jerk an item loose. Repetition, similar to someone unloading a pallet. Posture, like standing or sitting slumped over for extended periods of time. A person's physical condition and poor health, which could be related to being unfit or overweight. It can even be from working too many hours in the heat and becoming tired, weak, and physically exhausted. And poor ergonomics are just a few of the others. And of course there are the obvious things like twisting, reaching, and leaning. All of them deserve attention. But for the sake of keeping your attention... We are just going to focus on lifting and moving in this presentation. Now, lifting and carrying is more than just a process. It's a behavior. Injuries that occur at work may not be the direct result of what you are doing. It could be the result of years of bad lifting habits. Bad lifting habits can deteriorate muscle strength and body tissue over the course of time, eventually leading to a back injury. Lifting and carrying an item should be your last resort. Always try to find an easier way to transport the item. Yeah, if you find yourself in a situation where lifting is the only way to move an object, then use these techniques to help reduce the risk involved with lifting and carrying. We hope you'll find this information helpful and begin to apply it to your workday, as well as to your own personal weekend projects. <laughs>